When I visit an amusement park, it's always the roller coasters that I'm looking forward to the most. But you know what's better than having just that one standout coaster is two that complement each other. This is what us coaster enthusiasts call a one-two punch, and it can often be what drives us to visit a certain park. Being able to alternate between two world-class attractions is awesome, and in this video I want to rank my 15 favorite parks with the best 1-2 coaster punches. My metric for ranking these is I'm basically going to be taking a look at my top 100 roller coasters list and add up the rankings of a park's two best attractions. The lower the number, the higher the park goes on my list. Let me use Kings Island in Mason, Ohio as an example. My personal favorite coaster in that park is Orion, which comes in at number 39 on my top 100. My second favorite there is Mystic Timbers, which is down at 60. When you add those together, you get a score of 99, which just barely kept them out of my top 15. Understand this is a very opinionated list because it has to do with my rankings of two separate roller coasters in a park. So let me know in the comments how you rank your favorite one-two punches according to the metric I used in this video. Alright, let's get started with our number 15 spot, Parque Warner Madrid in Spain with a score of 97. Now originally, I had Busch Gardens Tampa in Florida take the rear on this list, but was surprised when I calculated a Parque Warner score and it was one less. Even though Busch Gardens has the single best coaster between these parks, Parque Warner's top two elevates it to a slightly higher spot on my list. This is of course dominated by Batman Gotham City Escape, which is a phenomenal Intamin launch coaster that sits at the number 13 spot in my rankings. The second place coaster is slightly less obvious, but I gave it to Stuntfall, an intense Vacoma giant inverted boomerang which clocks in at 83 in my rankings. Overall, a much stronger 1-2 punch than I would have expected, but it certainly wouldn't have been anywhere close to as good without Batman Gotham City Escape. Number 14, California's Great America, with a score of 96. As you can see, these rankings get really close, but California's Great America is one I did expect to make an appearance. At the front of the lineup is Gold Striker, one of my favorite wooden coasters which sits at number 37 in my rankings. A very different coaster helps to support this top two lineup, Railblazer and RMC Raptor, as my number 59 coaster. These are two super intense attractions but focus on entirely different things. Gold Striker is all about the speed and transitions, whereas Railblazer puts more emphasis on airtime and inversions. Since Great America is on the chopping block, there's no way of knowing how long we'll have this one-two punch, meaning you should definitely get out to the park soon if you've never been before. Number 13, Six Flags Fiesta Texas, with a score of 94. When I really think about this park's ranking in this video, it actually makes a ton of sense. Their number two coaster is Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster, which is essentially the exact same attraction as Railblazer at Great America. But in first place here is Iron Rattler, which is just a few spots higher than Gold Striker as my number 34 coaster. Both of these were manufactured by Rocky Mountain Construction and have tons of airtime, but are still quite different overall. I feel like non-coaster enthusiasts who visit this park would have no idea these were built by the same company. Number 12, Phantasialand in Germany with a score of 85. When I initially saw that this park had such a high score, I had to do a bit of a double take. Fly at number 29 makes sense, as it's basically a perfect roller coaster. Such a long experience, amazing theming, and great forces. But then I saw Terran at my number 56 spot, and even though I don't love this ride as much as some others do, I think I often forget that it is still a great ride, hence why it ranks just outside my top 50. Once again, this is a pretty diverse one-two punch, with these both being full package experiences but still focusing on entirely different forces. So let this be your cue to put Europe's best theme park at the top of your bucket list. Number 11, Portaventura World in Spain, which received a score of 79. While technically Portaventura's one-two punch are situated in two separate parks, I can't imagine visiting one without visiting the other, so I made an exception for them. The resort is home to two roller coasters inside my top 50, with Red Force and Intamin Launch Coaster at number 33, and Shambhala, a B&M Hyper Coaster at number 46. Red Force is solely my favorite attraction here because a front row ride is unparalleled. The top two still likely would have found its way into my top 15 without that experience, but seriously, if you go here, you've got to find a way to ride that thing in the front. Shambhala is less seat dependent and is a terrific coaster basically anywhere you sit. Smooth, graceful, and chock full of sustained floater airtime. Number 10 is Carowinds in the Carolinas, which received a score of 79. This is our first tiebreaker of the video with Carowinds and Portaventura World basically having equally as strong one-two punches. But I did give Carowinds the edge since it is home to the best coaster between these two parks and it's not even close. Fury 325 is one of the tallest and fastest roller coasters in the world with an impressive ranking of 7 in my top 100. This makes it the number one coaster featured in the video so far. In second place is a much tougher call, but I gave the honor to Copperhead Strike, which is my 72nd favorite coaster. I have heard that it can be a bit temperamental in how it's running, so maybe next time I visit an updated ranking shakes up Carowinds score. But for now, here it is inside the top 10 on my list. Number 9, Hansa Park in Germany with a score of 73. 
This has always been one of my favorite one-two punches in Europe, even though it's not the most diverse. Both the Schwartz Cannon, my number 19 coaster, and Flucht von Novgorod, my number 54 coaster, were built by Gerslauer. Each of their themes sort of play off each other, hence why they look and to some extent feel so similar. The Schwartz Cannon is my favorite coaster in Germany because of how unique it is and how intensive an experience it is. Flucht von Novgorod is underrated though, and I don't see it getting nearly as much love. Number 8, Six Flags Magic Mountain in California, which received a score of 66. This is one of my home parks, so I've had the opportunity to ride each of its top two coasters in many different conditions. I think it's because I've ridden them so many times that this park isn't as high as it might be for some. X2 is one of the most unique roller coasters I've ever ridden, earning spot number 24 for me. But you've also got Twisted Colossus, my 42nd favorite coaster, which is another one of those epic RMCs. This attraction is a bit of an interesting case because depending on operations, it may or may not race as it was designed to. When it duels consistently, the ride is noticeably better than I'm giving it credit for, meaning Six Flags Magic Mountain would get a higher score. But no matter what, I don't think it would be enough to get this park to number 7 because we've actually got the biggest score jump in the entire video up next. Number 7 is Islands of Adventure in Florida, which received a score of 40. This one-two punch was brought to you by Intimate, my favorite roller coaster manufacturer, and the two rides are very different. Velocicoaster is my ninth favorite coaster I've ever ridden due to its exciting layout, forces, and theming. Then in second place, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure also excels in theming but is a family coaster. Despite this, I found it was enjoyable enough to make its way all the way to number 31 in my rankings. It didn't used to be that high for me, but after my most recent visit, I was just blown away by how immersive of an experience it was. Number 6, Holiday World in Indiana, which received a score of 36. I believe this is the most underrated one-two punch on my list, and it's also very commendable because Holiday World is easily the smallest park to feature in this video. Their headlining attraction is the incredible wooden roller coaster Voyage, which is my number four coaster I've ever been on. But then where I think Holiday World doesn't get enough credit is in its other two wooden coasters, the better of the two being Legend, which ranks at number 32 for me. This is another phenomenal experience packed full of laterals and providing a remarkable night ride. Hats off to Holiday World for achieving such a high spot, as it's only possible due to their outstanding maintenance work. Number 5, Energylandia in Poland, with a score of 33. This is hands down the best top 2 on the European continent. The park boasts two roller coasters inside my top 25, which are incredible complements to one another. The RMC Hyper Hybrid Coaster Zadra finds itself at number 6 in my rankings, which is already remarkable, but they've also got Hyperion, a ginormous intimate hyper coaster clocking in at number 25. It's one of those lineups that's so good, it would be worth the trip to Poland alone for. Number 4, Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey with a score of 26. This is a park whose top coasters have slowly climbed up the ranks over the years, as I've absolutely fallen in love with two attractions that sit in my top 15. For most, El Toro, the park's massive wooden coaster, would be the anchor of this park. That sits at number 14 for me and is by far one of the best wooden coasters in the world. But I've recently decided to move King Daka up ahead of it to number 12 in my rankings. I'm aware this is an extremely unpopular opinion, but trust me, a front row ride on King Daka is an unbelievable ride. Intamin once again delivers a phenomenal one-two punch to Six Flags Great Adventure, and watch them do it again, because at the number 3 spot is Cedar Point in Ohio with a score of 26. Many may be surprised this didn't take number 1, since I do believe it's the best coaster lineup in the world. But here's the thing, my second favorite coaster here was previously Top Thrill Dragster, which closed in 2021, and I didn't feel it was fair for me to include a defunct experience. This would have given Cedar Point a score of 14, which then would have been the best 1-2 punch on this list. However, in second place now is Maverick, which is certainly nothing to scoff at. This is an intimate multi-launch coaster with so many exciting elements, achieving the number 23 spot in my rankings. But to no one's surprise, my favorite coaster here is Steel Vengeance, which is my third favorite I've ever been on. If that weren't enough, Cedar Point also gets to claim another top tier coaster, Millennium Forest, which is number 28 in my rankings. So even without Maverick and Top Thrill Dragster, Cedar Point would retain a top 5 spot on this list, which just goes to show how outstanding of a collection they have. Number 2 is Hershey Park in Pennsylvania, which received a score of 25. Before last year, Hershey would have just barely missed the list, which is just insane to think about since it's now top 2. This was made possible by the addition of Wildcat's Revenge, a masterful RMC coaster which sits at my number 15 spot in my rankings. Just above it is the Intamin Mega Coaster Skyrush, which takes the rear of my top 10. Even more impressive is Hershey Park will be introducing updated trains and restraints to Skyrush for the 2024 season, and if these changes elevate that attraction even one spot in my rankings, it would become a tie for the park with the best 1-2 punch. I want to give a special shout out to Hershey Park, also because they're one of the few large-scale amusement parks that really listen to their guests. 
The new trains and restraints for Sky Rush was no doubt because of the criticism some people gave that attraction, and giving Wildcat the RMC treatment I think was partially because coaster enthusiasts wouldn't shut up about it. It's been amazing to see how it's all paid off, and now Hershey Park gets to claim one of the best top twos of any park in the world. But currently, our number one park with a ridiculous score of 24 is King's Dominion in Virginia. The story of this one-two punch is amazing because King's Dominion was never a park that received loads of coaster investments. It just so happened that they got lucky and ended up with two of the best roller coasters in the world. First up, Intimidator 305 is my second favorite coaster I've been on and is the most intense ride I've experienced in my life. It's got the most outrageous speed, pacing, and transitions of any roller coaster I've been on. Twisted Timbers claims the number 22 spot in my rankings with its excessive amounts of glorious ejector airtime. What I love so much about this one-two punch is how drastically different these two experiences are from one another. Intimidator 305 is all about power and intensity, whereas Twisted Timbers is focused around airtime as most RMCs tend to do. So congratulations to King's Dominion for this phenomenal top two lineup, which I believe to be the best in the world. But there are still some other parks I've yet to visit, particularly in Asia, that would most definitely rank in the top 15. So later down the line, I'll have to come back and update this list, I'm sure. But if you enjoyed it, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Coaster Dash for more content like this in the future. If you'd like to support the channel, we also have a Teespring store where you can grab some of that new Coaster Dash merchandise. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye, guys.